أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين It's good to come back and to resume our weekly um, meetings Inshallah um, we will uh, continue having it without disruption uh, Today we recall our beautiful hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم كلكم راع وكلكم مسؤول عن رعيته. We have tackled this hadith before. Uh, today we will uh, look at this hadith from another perspective. كلكم راع. Every one of you is a shepherd, is responsible. He's got a responsibility and will be questioned about that responsibility. We we'll look at this hadith as a key of success. That this mentality, this uh, 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 view of being a shepherd is a key of success versus being a master. And the difference between the two is very clear. The Muslim looks at himself as a human, as a shepherd in this world. A shepherd that's caring, that's loving, that looks after his herd, looks after everything around in this world versus the view of being a master of things, of seeking control over things, is a big difference between the two. Seeking control means I see myself above other things. I see myself better person. I see myself in the elite, above others, above things. Where Muslims view themselves as shepherd, as caring for the humanity, and for the things, for the environment, for the things around. In fact, we draw the most effective powers in this universe. That's the laws that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in things, put in this world, in this universe. The laws, these laws, if we go with it, then we are the strongest. Then we own the key of success and we own the real powers of this universe because we are in, then in line with these laws. This is the beautiful aspect of this hadith. Being a shepherd means being a caring person, loving person, a person who would be vigilant and caring for things around him versus being looking to ourselves as masters of things. No, we are not. We seek the truth, we seek to learn, and then we achieve the top of things, which is wisdom. Once we realize that, we get much closer to the laws of this universe, and then we reach the happiness in this world, and of course, inshallah, we will get the happiness of the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success in this world and in the hereafter. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين